Robert, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today? Very good, teacher. I'm ready for the class. Only uh, a little hard in my in my garganta. ¿Cómo se dice? How do you say? Throat. In my throat. Yeah, because I I have a I have a cold. But but I'm ready for the class. Oh, okay, I understand. I'm really sorry about that. <clears throat> Stand, teacher. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Gilberto. Take medicine, Robert. Uh, have you gone to the doctor? Um, no, because um, it start today, but right now I. I took uh, a medicine mm -hmm. and, and ten, 10 minutes ago, I I had a, a honey with lemon. Oh, okay. That is good. That will help you. Thanks. Yes. Okay. Um, well, if you, if you don't feel better tomorrow, go to the east. Maybe they can give you medical leave for a couple of days. Okay, teacher, I consider that tent. You can recover, yes. Okay, very good. So you can see my presentation today is Tuesday, September 19, 2023. Okay, this is the class 21. Yes, 21. Um, we are going to have this class and four classes extra okay we're going to end this course on monday okay good um for today we're going to start um the unit four okay first we have the lesson objective then how to identify the area of, of opportunities okay uh in your workplace sorry that is it doesn't have a okay Yes, how to identify the areas of opportunities in your workplace. So at the end of this class, you will be able to identify training opportunities for personnel, okay? Um, I have one question for you at work. So the areas of opportunities are areas of improvement, are a skill, uh, qualities or abilities that an employee could develop or enhance. Area of, of improvement could include time management, delegation organization, communication and engagement. Many of these skills and abilities are those that employees use daily at work. So I want that you try to Try to remember what are the, the areas of opportunities that you have discovered or that you have noticed in you, in yourself, and also in your co-workers. So to have a to provide a better uh to do a better job in your company. Any idea? For example, it could be communication to skills. Communication skills that you don't have maybe uh, that kind of um, confidence to speak with um, the authorities maybe in your job. That could be communication skills. What else do you consider that we need that you that you need to improve in your workplace? Uh, teacher, mm -hmm. in my case, in the company, uh, two colleagues at work and uh, uh, and I work in 
delivery product. And in this moment, uh, the company, the promoter for the sales men. Okay. So do you consider that uh, in your company, employees, uh, employees okay need to improve uh sales skills yes uh, the promo by my partner the experience uh, um, 10 year uh, my, the, the other the other partner well once i uh you are trying to say that ones of them have more experience than others yes okay i understand and uh, when it happens sometimes not always right that uh probably uh one employee has more than 10 years working in that company. So, uh, of course, they will have better skills in the company uh, They because they know how to work there. They have been there from a long time ago. But then a new employee arrive, uh, They, if they are um, empathetic with the employees, the new employees, they can help, right? They can uh, provide information about their experiences to avoid that the new employee may mistake, okay? That okay. is good. That is good when it happens. But it, when it doesn't happen, <clears throat> it is difficult, right, to to avoid maybe mistakes that others already have done in the company. Okay, good. Uh, welcome, Andres, Daniela. Hey, welcome, so, teacher. Good morning. Maria Leticia and Lady. Yes, we are discussing about the, the areas of opportunities that maybe you have um, in your workplace, in your job, right? Uh, areas of opportunities that you have identified with your co-workers or maybe you have identified in yourself. Any experience that you may have? What do you remember? This is plural, I'm sorry. That need to be plural. Uh -huh. Any experience that you remember, guys? No? I, I don't really get the, the idea, teacher. Okay, uh, I'm talking about areas of opportunities, like uh, uh, what you need to improve in your company or what your coworkers need to improve to do a, be a better job. So areas of improvement are skills, qualities, or abilities that an employee could develop or enhance. Areas of improvement could include time, management, delegation, organization, communication, engagement, and many, many other skills and abilities, okay? So the, the skills or abilities that you do yes. uh, daily at work. I think, well, in my case, and right now in my company, I, I see that they improve one thing. The sales department improve one thing that before they don't, they didn't improve. What is the thing? For example, right now, when they sell 
one service, they sell expensive this service because they add a bonus from the security guards. Before year, years before, they don't have this opportunity. So the, the security guards just receive the normal salary. Right now they improved us this area and they add in the in the price when they sells the servers a bonus from right now the the, the security guards can can have a good or can have a good yeah a good salary than the other ones. Okay. So in that case is is um improvement right but in in the way that they are uh paid in the company yeah improving the day from the pay yes exactly yes but when we refer to areas of opportunities is when we are uh, doing maybe uh not a not hundred percent good um the daily task that we do so we need to still improve, improve to do it, to do it better. So for example, if you identify that it will be just one example, Mary is not doing a good uh, re um, report, right? She's, she's the one in charge to do, to do a report for all the employees about the, um, about about the um performance that they have okay but she is not doing a good job she's uh, lying or maybe uh she's not if she's no checking what what she need to check to do the report so what will be the areas of opportunities for mary in that case so the area of, of opportunities for her will be uh do a better investigation, okay? Be trans transparent what what you are uh in writing about your co-workers. Um what else? So that will be the areas of opportunities for her to improve what she's doing. That that is one example. So in your case, I don't know if you have experience that your your boss or maybe your supervisor uh tell you okay uh carlos so i was checking uh, i don't know the report that you did this this day and i can see this and this and this so please avoid to do that have you received feedback about the job that you are doing and um have you improved You are fired, tell me the boss of me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it happens, right? So so the the task or the main purpose for today will be identify what are the areas of, of opportunities that you have, okay? What is um necessary to improve to do better in your job. Okay, very good. We're going to continue. Let me let me delete this. Good yes. Good I evening. think that I think that training is very important uh for to improve the skill in, in a company, right? Um if uh we are here more money, uh, we need to uh training okay a lot. yes for example in this case the english is, is very nice for to open a new opportunities um yes of course it, it earn more money um, correct but i think that it's just very important that we need to uh do this this topic yes that is correct good training as you said right are uh 
are useful to improve uh, what employees are failing. In this case, we have a um, question related to that. How do you identify the areas of opportunities that require personal training? Okay. Are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? Yes or not? Do you think that your co-workers need to receive uh, refreshers or updated, train updated training to do a better job? Mm -hmm. My case teacher, in my company, when they when they improve, when they give us a new system, they give us or they teach us, or they make um, trainings, a little trainings, for we learn about the systems. But it's just from two days possible because we don't, the, the, my, my company, they don't have enough time in the different, for they can explain more about the system. So they give us just the main ideas, how can we develop the system or yes, and we have to, to work in the systems. Right now we, 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 we work in four systems. One is for the clients, other from the weapons, other for the payroll and the other is for the it's like a from the customers too but when they when they improve another system just give us about two days for we can learn this system so i think that they have to explain more or more time for the for we can learn about the systems okay I understand, um, but the reason why they don't do it more time maybe is because you have to work, as you said, right? Uh, that is part of the production staff. Yes. Um, well, what I consider is that it's not necessary maybe to have a long week or a one month training, but yes, uh, receive the updated the updated information do some meetings right so you it can it could be probably one hour meeting per day uh to provide like a the refresher of that specific update of the product right um it's very useful to have this rem or also send emails to everybody as a reminder saying what will be changed, right, from now on. Um, that will work a lot. If that is not necessary, just um, uh, teach and a uh, procedure, for example, right, just send an email about the reminders about what has been changed in the company. Okay. Um, good question. So good discussion about this. Now we have a we have a conversation. We have two yes, Alex and Rick. I need two volunteers, please. You can raise your hands. Thank you so much. Let me see. Okay. First will be Robert. And Gilberto. Robert, it will be uh, Alex and Gilberto will be Rick. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, teacher. The dishwasher I hired a month ago once to know how to get promoted, promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule and server training for next month and one for cashier performance the months were not so good. Some customers complain about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think 
servers need a good training. Let's identify their skill and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the server after the training. Okay, good, good. Um, thank you so much. Okay, now will be uh, Maria Leticia and Carlos. Carlos, you will be Alex, and Maria Leticia will be Rick. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Are you ready, Maria Leticia? Yes. Okay. The dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promote. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah. Uh. Very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training for next month and one for cashier. Performance this month was not so good. Some customer complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skill and knowledge so we can include everything they need in, in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to ev evaluate the servers after the training. Okay, very good job. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh... It says that the dishwasher I hired a month ago I... wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Okay, that is really good, right? That he asked about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server server's training the next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complaining about having to wait for too long. Okay. I guess to pay, right? Yes, I I think servers need to need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything. They need the training. They need in the training. Uh -huh. let's, let's do that. I don't forget we have uh, to evaluate the servers after the training. Okay, good. So what they are going to do to improve uh, the service, the customer service? They have because the customer has to wait too long, right? They are going to improve their skills and knowledge about they they know, okay? Do you have questions about this? Any questions about the, the conversation? No. Silvia, yes? Yes, teacher. Do you have questions? I saw you have your, your hands raised. Eh, teacher, solo. Eh, como estamos hablando sobre la eh, práctica ¿verdad? de la discusión. Correct. Yo estoy dando la mano para la práctica. Ah, oh, okay, okay. You want to, to practice the dialogue. Okay, sure. uh, someone else? Who can practice? Yes, uh, Carlos. Excuse me. I think that the manager uh, have a feel, has the philosophy to training employees to improve uh, a, a good production or, or, or to be uh, a good service. Good customer service. 
Correct. Yes, that is the main purpose. Uh, improve, improve the service, right? That is why um, they are going to provide training. That is what um, any company has to do. If, if you see, well, if they see that um, employees need to improve any area in their work, right, in the job that they do every day, so they have to provide um, training in the better way that um, they can understand and improve that areas that maybe they, they don't have or they, they don't practice. Okay, Sylvia, you told me that you want to participate. You will be one. I need another volunteer, please. Okay. Please raise your hands, another volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, okay Maurice. Me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mauricio Benavides. Already mm -hmm. raised his hand. I'm sorry, Rodrigo. Go ahead. Uh, uh, then you, Rodrigo. Okay, Silvia and Mauricio, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Mauricio and Alex. Uh -huh. okay. you? Whatever. Okay. Once you I'm want to. Mm -hmm. You want to be Alex? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Sería, the this shower I hired a mom um, ago wants to know how to get permit. He asked my about training opportunity. Oh, very good. See, you see, I want to schedule a server training for the next month. The one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Uh, yes, I think service needs good training. Let's identify their scale and can know well. So when can include everything they need at the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servants after the training. Okay, very good. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, it says, pay attention, Sylvia, because yes, it is necessary to improve the pronunciation, okay? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, the dishwasher I hired a month ago, wants to know how to get promoted, okay? He asked me about training opportunities. Can you please repeat that again? Uh -huh. The dishwasher I hired a month ago went to know how to get promoted. Promoted? He promoted. He asked me about training opportunity. Okay, he asked. He asked. Remember that is the it is that sound is T at the end, okay? Asked. Mm -hmm. Ask. Teacher, how do you say this this wish this is the da? This wish or algo así. This, I don't understand. This washer. This washer. Yes. I don't know. I don't understand. Mm, what is the meaning of that word? Look look for it, please, in, in the dictionary. Do you have an online dictionary? Mm -hmm. look, okay. look, for it, look for it. It's a person who works in a restaurant, right? Or it could be another place maybe, but uh, if... What what is the function or what is the activity that that person had to do, um, Rodrigo? Lava, lava platos, teacher. Ajá, okay, lavar platos. Ah, okay, okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, um, 
Okay, Mauricio. And let me see who else. A volunteer, another volunteer. Hazel, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Mauricio will be Alex and Hazel will be Rick. What? Rodrigo, are you there? Dijo Mauricio, teacher. Dije Mauricio, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I'm here. I'm really sorry. Okay, it is because maybe it is okay. because I'm tired. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, I will be Alex. Correct. You will be Alex. Okay. The dish the 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 dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, that was good. Really good. Okay. Um, let me see. Going to move on. Okay, I have here some questions that we are going to discuss, okay? It is about it is about the the conversation that you have been reading. Who is asking for a promotion? The dishwasher uh, it's interesting in training. Okay. That's Al Alex, so. he asked the training opportunity. No, Alex is uh, speaking with Rick, but who asked for the promotion uh, is the dishwasher. We don't know who is, who is the dishwasher. Uh, we don't know his name or um, uh -huh, his name. But it was a dishwasher. He he is asking to be promoted. Okay. 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 What did the customer complain about? Do you remember the why? Mm -hmm. The customer complained because he waited for a long time in the restaurant. Okay. Very good. That was the reason why they were complaining because they had to wait for so. For too long. For too, too mm -hmm. long. Okay. What is staff will receive training? Do you know what is a staff? What is staff will receive training? Do you remember? This washer in the shoe. Mm -hmm. Read again. The servers. The, the servers. Server. Yeah. The servers will receive training training for next month. Okay. And one for the cashiers. Yes, also the cashiers. Yes. Very good. What steps will Alex and Rick take for the training? Do you do you remember? Do you remember that? What are this? Okay, what are steps will Alex and Rick Rick take for the training? Identify their skills and knowledge and evaluate the servers. 
Okay, okay, okay. That is good. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay, now we're going to identify um, how to organize training for your staff. Number the steps in the order correct, in the correct order. Okay, I'm going to give you two minutes, okay? To order the procedure, how you are going to do this. And then I will ask you. I think teacher uh, analysis the job number one. Analyze the job number one. Do you think that is number one? Okay. Um, it will be implement the training teacher. Number two, implement the training. Yes. Or identify personal current skills and knowledge. Identify personal current skills. Second. I'm sorry. Uh, decided skill and knowledge gaps. Okay. And then evaluated okay. performance after trade. And this is the last one, sorry. I consider mm -hmm. that this one will be the second because uh, you are going to identify yes, first. You are going to identify, okay, what is yes, your, yes. what are the employees' knowledge? And then they are going to decide, they are going to decide skills and knowledge gaps, okay? And after that? Implement trading solutions, mm -hmm. identify. Sorry, implement training identify training solutions yes and then evaluate performance after training right sorry mm. for the, sorry for the numbers who <laughs> okay who else uh evaluate this or um order in different way tell me I think I think probably the fourth will be identify training solutions. Then the five will be implement training. Do you think this this one will be number four? Yes, teacher. That's and number then, four. And then number five here. Identify training solutions and then implementing trainings. Okay. And then number six, evaluate performance after training. Okay, good. That will be the correct order to uh, work in the company issue, right? Because if you identify, uh, if you analyze what your employees are doing, okay, then you will identify what they are doing bad or good. So you are going to decide which skills you are going to work with, okay? Knowledge gaps means like, um, que les falta, okay? That is a knowledge gaps, como, como espacios. Que Deficiencias. Uh -huh. That is correct. What they need to complete, okay? And then number, of, number, uh, Number four, yes, identify training solutions. That will be number four. And then implement the training. And number six, uh, evaluate performance after training. So once that you already provide uh, training, you want to know if that really work, right? So you need to evaluate again. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Good analysis. Um, let me see the chat, what I have here, good evening, okay, 
Okay. Um, then we have vocabulary here. First, we're going to read the vocabulary and we're going to make sure that you understand everything. Okay, what is a, uh, do you know what is a goal? Feedback, budget, knowledge gap, that we already studied that. Okay, and then coaching and qualifications. I'm going to give you another two or three minutes to analyze, and then we're going to match with the definitions. Goal, a quality that makes someone so, so, so suitable. For a big particular job. Which one is that one, Mauricio? The first one. Is the six will be the number one? The first one is go. Uh, in. No, the, 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 no, the first sentence is uh -huh, quali qualifications. Oh, okay, qualifications a quality that makes uh, someone the, suitable for a particular job. Okay, at the goal teacher, I decided this whole possible, possible outcome. Okay, a decided results or possible outcome. Okay, good. What is feedback? Helpful information or criticisms about the performance of a person. Okay, very good. Budget and estimation <clears throat> of income and expenses. An estimation of income and expenses. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, very good. Knowledge gap. Yeah. An, ir an irregular balance of what a person should know. Okay. And coaching. The process, the process of, imp of improving the performance. Uh -huh, the, the, the process of, of improvement at a performance of an employee. Very good. Good, good. Okay, in a call center, you will see all these, almost all these, these um terms. Okay, goal, feedback, knowledge gap coaching, qualification, everything. Um, to improve, of course, um, employees' performance. Okay, very good. So let me delete this because it doesn't continue. Allow me to, okay. Okay, ve very good. So we're going to discuss this. Uh, identify training opportunities. Okay, we are talking about training opportunities for personnel. Level the description of the process with the right heading. Okay, we have here a different heading. Analyze the job, identif identity, personal, current skills and knowledge, identity, training solutions, evaluate performance after training, and decide the skill and knowledge gaps. Okay, so Try to um, think what will be the correct definition of each one, okay? I will give you two or three minutes. Try to think. Hello. Hi, lady. Hello, Miss. Aquí está lloviendo fuerte. I understand, lady. Don't worry. It's okay. You can be as a listener if you... I mean, the problem is that you cannot listen, right? That is a problem? Okay. So, uh, 
my advice, guys, because if there are cases, there are um classes that you can all hear maybe because it's raining a lot. Buy a headset. Okay, comprese un, un headset que elimine el ruido exterior. Este me elimina el ruido exterior. Yo no escucho... Bueno, sí, si sí, es un ruido demasiado grande, sí se escucha, pero elimina un poco. Eh, y también elimina el ruido para que ustedes lo escuchen. Um, eso les puede ayudar mucho. Cuando ustedes puedan, comprense uno que elimine el ruido y así ustedes van a poder escuchar y no se va a escuchar ruido en la clase tampoco. Ok. Good. Um, when you are ready, please let me know. Okay, let me start with Maria Leticia. You will be number one. For me, it's identify training solution. Okay, let me see, identify training solution. List of all opportunities in areas of improvement where training is necessary to increase eff effectiveness, decide if there is a gap between the knowledge and skill of the staff. As employees, what areas they need to need help with. Okay, let me let me let me write it here. Training solutions. Good. Let me see. Uh, Carlos, you will be number two. Okay, teacher. Uh, could be um, The, the size, skill, and uh, knowledge gap. Could be. Okay, at this moment, I'm going to write the one that you tell me, okay? Then we're going to see if that, need, if that needs to be changed. Knowledge gaps. Find the best way to provide training, one-on-one -on -one coaching, short-term and long-term trainings, e-learning, decide the option that best fits the needs of your staff and company. Okay. Uh, Andres, number three. I think that is identify personal current skills and knowledge. Identify the personnel who 
current skills and knowledge. It says, as staff members to use checklists and evaluate their progress, look at the work area and check if there is still evidence of, of a deficiency and a skill of knowledge. Okay. The paper months after training. I'm sorry, Mauricio? Sorry, sorry. Uh, I just. Oh, okay. Just... It's okay. Um, sorry, I made a mistake here, but no, we cannot fix it. Knowledge. You know that is knowledge. Um, let me see. Number four. Roberto. Okay, I think teacher it analyze the job. Analyze the job. Okay. Oh no. Analyze the job. Observe what the employee does well and what needs improvement. Check for qualification, training, courses, and responsibilities for previous position. Get more individual information from human resources. Okay. Yeah. It sounds, it match. Okay, let me see number five. It says, discuss and describe the responsibilities of the position with the employee. Write down indicator of knowledge and a skill that match the position, identi the position, identity, the processes change. Oh no, I'm sorry, it says identify. The processes change in the description. The one that is missing is evaluate performance evaluate, after training. Uh -huh, evaluate performance after training. It says discuss and describe the responsibilities of the position with the employee. Write down the indicator of knowledge and a skill that match the position. Identify the processes change in the description. Um, no. Or is analyze analyze the job. It sounds that it, yeah, it is analyze the job. Is it fixed better here? Okay, um, observe what employee does well and what needs improvement. Uh -huh. we check the qualification training courses. Okay, this will be... Evaluated performance after training. Correct. This one will be evaluate performance after trading okay and the one that we have here yes is the same that we said design skill and knowledge gaps okay very good um now we're going to continue speaking about that we're going to work in groups we're going to identify training of opportunities for personnel in your job, okay? You can talk about that. 
what are the, the training opportunities that you consider that your coworkers have, okay? Please make a list of um, what they need to improve to provide or to do or to make a better job, okay? Um, I will give you around 15 to 20 minutes to discuss to, to discuss that information. Identify job opportunities in your job, okay? Make a list of what your team need to improve, okay? Then we're going to have the conversations about that. And at the end, we're going to check the grammar that you um, practiced yesterday in Padlet. Okay, let me make the teams. If you have questions, please let me know. Is it clear what you're going to do? What the topic that you're going to speak about? Teacher, uh, we have to do uh, identify job opportunities in your job, or in Correct. this case, in, in my job. I, I don't know. Uh, uh, I feel so confused because okay. in my job, I identify job opportunities. It is... Areas of opportunities. Okay. Uh -huh. Areas of opportunities. Yeah. I'm sorry. That I, that I understand your confusion. It, I want to say areas of opportunities. Okay. Como que necesita yeah. mejorar. Okay. That is the meaning. Que necesita. Ah, okay. okay. Que necesitan mejorar los uh, employees to do a better job. For example, areas that they need training. Okay. So how you are going to analyze, you can apply all these steps. Okay. To identify the areas of opportunities there. Okay. Apply all of them. For example, uh, uh, you can analyze what they are doing, okay? Identify uh, what they are doing, the knowledge that they have. Decide what, what is skills or what are the knowledge gaps that they need to, they need to fulfill. And then uh, identify the training solutions. And after that, uh, just write the ideas about the, the the training that you are going to to provide to them. Okay, we cannot evaluate the performance because um after the training that can be evaluated. So, but that is not possible to do it now. But with the knowledge that you have, you are able to analyze what they are doing, identify the skills that they have or the knowledge gaps that they have. And then um, identify the training solutions. Okay. Let me see. I don't know if that is clear, Carlos, or is is still uh, are you still confused with that? No, no, for sure. It's okay. That's okay. okay. I got it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Mauricio Boruca, are you still as a listener? Are you able to participate? No? Okay. Danilo Sanchez, what about you? Are you available? Danilo. Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you so much. 
Okay, let me open the rooms. Try to go to the to your room, okay? When you see the message, accept the message. Si alguna vez, uh, if he was shooting, uh -huh. no, if he shoot, shot, sería. Is he shot before? Is, is, he, is he shot the gun? Or if he shot, no. If he, if he shot, este, if he received a uh, Training, a shooting training before years ago. Okay, entonces tu punto sería analyze the job. Analyze is the if he, como que si analizar si él anteriormente, ajá, como analyze the job, pero se, se deriva que analizar si él anteriormente ha tenido una capacitación. No sé si ahí se podría identificar así. Ajá, esa sería como tu, tu observación de mejora en el área de trabajo. Ajá, como analizar el trabajo y si él alguna vez ha recibido alguna capacitación de, de, de tiro, podría Ajá. decirse, pero no sé si, si está bien el punto. Ajá, porque como el tema decía, identify training opportunity for personal. Label the description on the process with the right hidden. 
qué sé yo, otro juego más. Uh -huh, como las. Exacto. Y teníamos la... las cinco que habíamos sí, revisado, el concepto, Analyze the Job. Analyze the Job, Analyze the Security War, Receive, Receive en pasado, uh, Shooting Training, Before, Antes. Bro. Ajá. Podría ser un punto. Lo voy a escribir en el chat. Ese podría ser un punto. No sé si usted tiene otro. Ajá, ok, vaya. Ese es bien importante. ¿va? Aunque lo que tú vas, vas a analizar el trabajo y también le vas a dar un entrenamiento. Sí, como, como lo principal es como el punto de mejora sería la este la práctica de, de tiro, o sea que el, el elemento al final, digamos que si se da una, un entrenamiento de práctica de tiro, este, esa sería como su, su deficiencia, o es la deficiencia. La mayoría de seguridad, pues, este, y eso es cierto, la mayoría de seguridad solamente a veces está en, en un puesto, pero nunca ha disparado un arma. Ajá, sí, es cierto. <coughs> Ajá, entonces también no sé si ahí podría servirte el Identify Training Solution. Es el number one. Dice, list all opportunities in areas of improvement where training is necessary to increase effectiveness. Decide if there is a gap between the knowledge and the skill of the staff. As employed, what areas what areas they need to help with sí ajá te podría servir ese también va uh -huh. sí, el porque trabajo, yo creo... ajá uh -huh. analizas el trabajo y también como como solución identify training solution ajá exacto verdad Identify training solution. Uh -huh. este, identificar el, el entrenamiento, la solución del entrenamiento que sería. Ajá. Como brindar una capacitación. <ríe> no sé. Ajá. Ok. Give a, a training. Give a Tra training. During training. Ajá. Training. No estaba con ustedes. No, no, teacher. No, teacher. Hello, hello. Se me perdió, se me estaba perdió Heisen. Estaba con otro grupo y por darle oh. compartir la pantalla, no sé qué me pasó. Oh, perdón. Yo creo que me confundí. Ok, do you remember the names with uh, the partners that you were, Silvia? No, teacher, pero no, no Gilberto y Rolando, ¿no? Yo creo que sí, ajá. Gilberto y Rolando, ok, let me sí. move it. Number five. Teacher. Hi. Uh, excuse me, when my team uh, spoke about a couple ideas making ideas uh, about to improve of area of yo for example with hazel speaking uh, or, ident or to identify uh, training about customer service will be uh, the orange one is improved in industrial security or industrial safety workshop mm -hmm. or uh, maybe to improve the uh, environment war would be yes any remember that uh um you are going to take in consideration the mm -hmm. steps that we review do you remember the steps that we review in the presentation we talk about uh for example the first step is analyze the job what they are doing right identify 
their skills and knowledge, okay? Mm -hmm. okay. And then decide if uh, skills and knowledge, if, decide if there are skills and knowledge gaps. If For they example, need... uh, we spoke about uh, this, this washer. Mm -hmm. Yes, this, uh, your relation with this dia 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 dialogue. 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 Yes, dialogue. Uh -huh. Yes, well, uh, step number one, you're going to analyze your job. Number two, Ident identify uh, the, the skills and knowledge that your partners have, your co-workers. Oh. Ah, then okay. decide if they have knowledge gaps, si le falta, o sea, si necesitan improve. And then you identify the training solutions. Mm -hmm. Teacher, what does mean uh, knowledge gap? Knowledge gaps uh, means uh, deficiencias que ellos necesitan improve. Por ejemplo, mm. Digamos que um, un server in a restaurant okay. es, bien, es bien lento y no, uh -huh. no ubica a los, a los customers. Uh -huh. So that means that he needs to improve that attitude. How you're going to, to make that um, change? He, he needs to apply more uh, spark. Uh huh. They need to to be Much active. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. He needs to be active and uh, talkative. He needs to develop communic communicative skills and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, I I got it. Tisha. Yes. Okay. You. Good. Um, uh, but you can apply that in in your in your workplace. Okay, not only in a restaurant, but also you can apply that in your workplace. Okay, okay, good to show. Okay, good. I will be around if you need question if you need help, just let me know. Okay, thank you. Okay. O en otra farmacia. Eh, eso es básicamente el primer el primer punto. Va, decidámonos entonces. ¿Qué? Uh -huh. Eh Vaya, si vamos a hacer la, la, la leticia, tiene que ser eh, farmacéutica. Que sí, farmacéutica. Ajá. Vaya, farmacéutic dispenser le vamos a poner. She, ha, he ha, he ha, she has experience in, in the. Uh -huh. eh, Vaya, eh, the activities. Or, or knowledge about, about pharmaceutical suppliers. No, yes. pero eh, the activities of, of the job, eh, o sea, el primer punto dice las actividades. ¿Qué actividades necesito para hacer mi trabajo? Mm. Ah, bueno, ¿Qué actividades otra... hago, debe de hacer para hacer su trabajo? Uh, esa es la que, por la que le mandaron la capacitación, que tenía que saber cómo colocar el producto, cómo almacenarlo. Uh -huh. ¿Qué más le enseñaron? Um... Ahí le enseñan a uno hasta qué medida tiene que tener el estante de la pared, porque no tiene que estar pegado a la pared por la humedad. Tiene que estar fresco, el clima fresco, eh, imagino. Una temperatura no mayor de 30. Ah, pues que sepa todo eso, hay que lo sepa colocar y que lo sepa ordenar y que... Uh -huh. Y también de servicio al cliente, de cómo tratar a la gente, imagino. Sí. Cómo leer las recetas. Cómo leerlas depende del médico que las prescriba, porque si él escribe bien, las leo, <risa> se leen bien, pero si va con garabatos, hay que llamarle al médico que quiso decir en la receta. Recetas. Mm. Vale, sería, por ejemplo, pharmaceutic dispenser, y en eso es las actividades, no, no to read. The recipes, o sea, saber leer las recetas. No, how to read the recipes. Uh -huh. eh, how eh, to no. dispense, cómo, cómo, cómo colocar los productos, how to dispense the products in the, in the rack, no sé cómo se dice. Eh. Um, showcase, 
vitrina. Show. Ah, BTL. Eh, BTL es. BTL. Ay, se olvidó cómo se llama el oh, significado de eso. Este. Sería how to counter, place. Counter. Show. Counter. No. How to counter. place. De. En this case, eh, the medicines. Medicines. On the. In, in the. In the showcase. In the show. Counter es. Counter. Counter, counter, de counter, 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 así. counter ajá, de, así, de, así se dice en, en, en medicamentos. Vale. Counter. Showcase, le voy a poner. Entre paréntesis, eh, showcase, para que se, por, si no ah, se entiende dónde eh, se entiende la vale, Tiene que también otra, revisar la, la, la fecha de vencimiento. No, eh, va. Vale. Ah. Tiene que, o, lo que dijeron, tiene que saber tratar a las personas, vea. Ajá, sí, servicio yes. al cliente. Conocer de servicio al cliente. Va, dejemos tres ahorita. Y, ah, y, y. También este. Mayor opportunity de Salesman. Ajá. Uh -huh. Da. Sería. Sí, así sería. Salesman. En, en mayor. De opportunity. Ajá. Uh -huh. Opportunity. Es necesario. In my job, the opportunity is necessary. I... Es, is necessary. Sería conocimientos, quiero ver. 
Experience. Ajá. Sí, sería experiencia, ¿verdad? Sí, in the metal mechanics, exacto. Experience, metal mechanics. Metal mechanic, exacto. In metal mechanics. Ajá. Para promover, 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 tales men, ¿verdad? Sí. Para promoverlos en. Ajá. Por promover, promover, promover. Uh -huh. Industria. Sales men en industria. Uh -huh. Sí. The thing, the best way to profit training sería después, ¿verdad? The weather, the cold, <laughs> el clima así, de tormenta. Uh, is... uh, here is a uh, big raining. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can hear that. The noise in the roof. Yeah, it, it's rare. It's rare, but it, but it's better because you listen my voice, but I can hear you very well. <laughs> I'm really sorry. It's raining in my house too. Did Just you... in the house of Roberto. <laughs> yes. Thank you, thank you, lady. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Too much water. Too much water, yeah. Okay. Uh, did you finish, guys? Ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. I guess everybody is ready. I'm going to uh, leave the room. Okay. And then you will be in the main station. Okay. Thank, Thank you, teacher.
Okay. Welcome back. Did you finish your activity? No. No. <laughs> Why not, Rodrigo? This is too long. And we, and we have no 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 much time. Really? I gave you more than 20 minutes, around 25. No, 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 teacher. <laughs> Size yes, that is true. I give you more than 25. So it is because uh you like it, right? You were learning. That is why you didn't feel the time. Okay. Um volunteers first volunteer we are ready teacher okay uh roberto who was your partner andres who was your partner i'm sorry eh, andres martinez oh andres andres okay Robert and Andres. Training is very strong, but I know that you can listen to me, but I can listen to you. So I'm going to talk. And I hope that you listen to me and you understand me. Yeah. Okay, go so, ahead. Okay, first, good evening, everybody. We are going to talk about strong improve uh, opportunities in our job. So the first thing we take two steps that is analyze the job and identify training solution. First, I'm going to talk about a big problem in my company that is that some people never shot a gun. So first, in my company, we have to analyze the job. And the first step, what we, how we, can, we are going to do that? First, we have to analyze the own security works to receive a shooting training before. And the second step, if identified, if they, if they shot a gun in the past with another company. And the, and the other step that is identifying training solution, uh, we are going to bring a shooting training that the, in the shooting training, they, the, we are going to develop three points. The first point is bring information about the parts of the drums. The second point, make the practice with the guns and the last one point in finally we we evaluate the job about in the shooting practice in the shooting training right now my partner roberto is gonna is going to follow the the procedure thank you so much andres very good thank you sir. Okay, good evening. Good evening. Okay, uh, my team, Andres, and I, we are talking about uh, two topics. Number one is analyze the job. And number two, identify training solution. I think um, the five topics is very important for, for give a solution about improve areas at, at different companies. But I only talk about about two topics. Um, number one, analyze the job. For example, in my company, uh, the area improve is um, delay in the process. This is very, very important identify when when there is or there are a, a delay in different process at a different company, because when there is a delay, 
the company is, is spend or lost lost money, lost time, lost re resource. And for that reason, it's very important identify when there is a delay in the in the procedure or or in the process. In my case, <clears throat> uh I identify a delay in the process because when I when I analyze the process, I I can see my my partners lost time when check the invoice. Uh, and this is this is a this is a problem. Yeah. Uh, for that reason, uh, we are talking about the the analysis analyze the job in my company is delay delay in the process. And the solution or oh, step number two, identify training solution. When when I analyze the the situation, I I can identify different different things. For example, it's probably my partner lost time because because he he need to training. Yeah. And number one is is give a training to to the employee. Number two, identify if he need a, a material or or a tool for improve your job. For that reason, it's very important identify training solution for improve different different process at the company. This is this is my participation. Uh, thanks. Okay, Roberto, very good. Good job. Thank you so much. So uh you said you are you already identified some areas of opportunities in your company, right? Yes. Okay, what is the most important that you consider? What is the most important uh area that you need to um okay that employees okay. need to improve? Okay, uh, I consider is 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 very important. Uh, give a training for 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 doing a best a uh, a better a better a better job in the process. And if if the employee lost time in the in the process, uh, I can identify the the problem. Yeah, and, and the solution is give a training, give a material, give a tools, eh, eh, and, and other, I can, it's probably eh, work as a team with, with the other, with the other employees, it's very important. Okay, yes, that is, that is good, and that is true. Well, thank you so much. Um, Robert and Andres. Okay, who is next? Thanks. Who will be next? We have a uh, teen. What is Carlos and Daniela? What is Maria Leticia, Mauricio, and Rodrigo? And what is Gilberto, Rolando, and Silvia? Uh -huh. Okay. So in that case, I'm going to call you by orders. Uh, the order that we have here. So will be Carlos and Daniela. Miss, I have problems with the connectivity, but at the beginning we talking uh, with Carlos about the it's very it's very important to reinforce the main uh, area for the each uh, company. And we talk about the areas, uh, maybe can be training about customer service, industrial safety, workshop, 
eh, sales technique, eh, training about specific systems for, for the task, and workshop online about for my company banking risk, and for my company it's very important uh, the training about business uh, continuity because it's, it's one area very important uh, for for our job and, and Carlos I think he, he can add the others. Okay. Thank you so much Hazel. Okay. Yes Carlos? <clears throat> Yes, thank you, Tisha. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, I think that is very important to uh, uh, have to uh, a teamwork that uh, need to communication and need, need really to identify. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Need to communicate, okay? Yes, you need to communicate and building an effective thing. Uh, I think that it, it, this is area that we need to improve because uh, we have to lose time and investigate the other thing that don't don't have importance. And so uh, I think that we have to uh, to do. Uh, other team that don't have uh, very good. So uh, for that reason is uh, for me, that's this area that's uh, identified to improve the communication. Communications and skills. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, of course. That is a key. Okay. Uh, have good communication between, between uh, co-workers uh authorities like your your boss uh your supervisor um or others right that work around you that is really important that is the key okay if you have communicate communication with that uh team okay everything work work well will work very well but if you don't have communication um with the team so I consider that um will be have more, a problem. Yeah, will be more difficult to grow yeah. up or to have a better a better production in the company. Sure. Yes? I think that is very important to identify uh the team's strengths and weakness of the of the um teamwork. That is, yeah, that is true. So mm -hmm, in, yeah. when you analyze the job, there you are identifying the witnesses and a strain of your yes. employees. Yes. Yes, of course. Okay. Thank you so much, Carlos and Hazel. Okay. Daniela was working with you uh, or no, she didn't work? She was a listener, teacher. She was a listener only. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So next will be uh, Maria Leticia, Mauricio, and Rodrigo. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Teacher, can I uh, please bring me to, to share my screen, please? Uh, let me see. Let me stop sharing mine. Yes, you can do it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Sure. Uh, can okay, you see it? Yes, we can see it. Okay, well, this is the what we work with Mauricio and Leticia, so everyone will will read some some part. Uh, for the first one, uh, for the analyze the job, uh, we we select the pharmaceutical dispenser. 
and we think uh, the they need to know or to, to in order to may to to do his, uh, his or her job uh, how to place the medicines in the counter or showcase know about customer service and it and it is indispensable to have uh, the credential uh, of the DNM Dirección Nacional de Medicamentos. Okay. Yes. Uh, Mauricio or Leticia. Uh, number three, decide skills and knowledge gaps. You have patients to make the job while receiving constant training to update oh, on you. new medications. Oh, uh, really. Seria four. Yes. Coaching and evaluation. Receive constantly training and rewards good work or initiatives with non-monetary reward, rewards. Review and evaluate all training given to the employee every three months. As let, let. At least. At least. Okay. Mm -hmm. At least. Okay, very good. I can see that you analyze the job. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, you identify the skill and knowledge. Okay, know how the reader the the recipes recipes, or in this case, will be medication. Um. Let me see. Let me make sure. Lo tomé como recetas, entonces por eso receipt, uh -huh. but if it is another word, we can make the, modi the modify. Okay, let me see, medical. Maybe medical order. Uh -huh. Medical order, prescriptions, sorry, prescriptions. Uh -huh. Prescription. Medical prescriptions, yes. Not a um, empathy, 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 advice, medications. Okay. What, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> so that's about it, Isa. Uh, okay. Um... Let me see. Uh, well, for number uh, for three, the desired skills and knowledge gaps, uh, uh, we put uh, not have patience to make the job and not receiving constant training to update on, on new medications. Mm -hmm. So in this case will be don't have patience to make the job. Okay, mm -hmm. we're talk we're talking about the the employees, right? They don't have they don't have mm -hmm. patience. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't receive constant training to update the a new medication. So and I consider that even though uh it's in Spanish because if if we if you did a a product in English it it will be difficult. But in this case, will be difficult in Spanish too, because you you are no uh you don't have like a uh knowledge right about everything like a doctor, so that will be difficult. You need to receive trainings constantly every every time that you receive a new product, um, and it is difficult to read the doctor um. Medical prescription. How do you do that, um, Letty? Es al inicio. 
at the beginning is difficult and then then you yeah. you can read them al, al inicio a mí me costaba leer porque sí es bastante difícil la letra de él pero ahora ya no ah ya. okay pero hay un doctor que escribe en líneas Uh -huh. Si es una I, pone un punto sobre la línea. Entonces yo esa receta, sí, yo, yo no la despacho porque tengo que estar segura de lo que le voy a dar al paciente. Ya he rechazado las recetas de ese doctor y yo le digo, vaya y que le escriba bien. Ajá, uh -huh, because will be uh, worse if you give the patient wrong uh, medication. Yeah. Ajá. Uh -huh. But... Uh... I like that the doctors, there are some doctors, right? But that is in the private uh, eh, area. Ayer, eh, perdón, había un médico de una unidad de salud envió una receta, medicamento que ellos no tenían en, en, en la farmacia de la unidad de salud, pero le había dejado una dosis extra era una dosis exageradamente alta para un, para un niño. Entonces, le explicamos a la mamá que fuera donde el doctor y que le dijera que no le iba a dar, porque o sea, nosotros tenemos que de poner la indicación tal cual la receta. Pero ahí le decía que era como una doble dosis que le iba a dar y el niño era un, un niño como de cuatro años, ni un adulto podía tomar esa dosis que él le había dejado. Y muchas veces ellos equivocan en cómo vienen las concentraciones de cada producto. Porque por eso pesan a los niños y los miden y todo eso que le hacen a los niños al inicio tiene que ver para cómo le van a dejar la dosis ¿no? de medicamento. Ajá. Uh -huh. Wow. Um, there are some doctors that they use computers uh they send online uh, medical prescriptions, but that is when they work with uh, insurances, right? And that is better because it is uh, clear the instructions, but not all of them. I understand. Uh, mm -hmm. I understand um, how difficult <laughs> it could be. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, we're going to move on. Sorry, because of the time. Uh, let me see. We are missing. Group number five, what is Gilberto and Rolando? And who else wa was uh, there, Gilberto? Uh, yeah, teacher. The analysis job uh, in the company, the fair opportunity in my company and the new employee in the area of the control quality. Uh, then after six months, they are promoted to motor. Hello. Yes, I'm ah, listening to you. Yes, go ahead. Uh, the first problem more early in the company, uh, the partner delivery, no, 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 uh, no, you worry how then the, the customer client, the, the customer. Uh, you never uh, have a problem in the company. The solution uh, re recommend the, 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 the silent man uh, in the training uh, data uh, presentation of our client. Uh, at the, the calling the, uh, the delivery. That's it? 
Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, Gilberto. Don Rolando. Tati. Rolando Hello. and Kathy, are you there? I guess they are having issues with the energy or internet because it's raining. I guess it's raining in the whole country. Yeah, yeah. yeah. here in my house, okay. it's raining right now. Yes. Yeah, okay. raining. In my house, in my, house. in my house, teacher, a lot of cats and dogs raining. <laughs> Here too. Okay, it's raining in the whole country. It is because in our country it's really small. Okay, well, thank you so much for your participation and uh, Gilberto. Okay, you are doing a good job. Okay, but still we need to improve. Okay, uh, my recommendation is 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 practice, practice. Okay, um, okay. in order you can improve, you can improve um your pronunciation because there are some words that uh you still need to improve because because I listen then like in Spanish. Okay, um, okay. I I know that there are some words that are similar in Spanish, okay, than in English. Yes. They have the same route, but they are not the same. The the pronunciation will be different. So you need to emphasize, you need to make the difference, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh and also be careful with grammar instructions. Uh grammar uh, structure, okay? Perfect. Okay, good. Guys, we are going to move on to the platform to work in, let me see. Section four. Four point one. Esa será la tarea de hoy. Four point one. Four point one. Wow, it's raining a lot here. <laughs> okay, uh, we have here the instructions. Uh, basically, we're going to do the same. Number the steps in the correct order. Type only the numbers, okay? So first, we have analyze the job. Is that, which number is that? Do you remember? Yes. Which number? Number one. Number one. Number one. Okay. Decide skills and knowledge gap. Or go for the number two. We have decide skills and knowledge gap, implementing the training, identif identify. Personal's current is current skills and knowledge. Is that number two? Yes or not? We're going to leave it like number two. Evaluate performance after training, identify training solutions. Okay, which one will be number three?
first you analyze a job, then you identify personal current and uh, current skills and knowledge, and then? Well, number two, identify, identify personal current skills and knowledge. Yeah, that is number two. But number okay. three will be beside skills uh -huh, and knowledge gaps. That it will be number three. Yeah. Okay. What is number four? We are missing just two. Implement training. Implementing the training? That will be number four? Yeah. Number four. number four and this one number five evaluate performance after training it should be in this way yes no but there is another one here <clears throat> that is missing one no we number are six. Uh, we identify solutions first we identify solutions number aha uh -huh, number four here and then we'll be here number five implement and training and number six evaluate performance after training okay there you have it okay Okay, analyze the job, number one. Decide a skill and knowledge gaps, number three. Implement and training, number five. Identify personal scurvy skill and knowledge, number two. Evaluate performance after training, number six. Identify training solutions, number... Number four. Okay, there you have it. <laughs> okay, very good. So today uh, is a good weather to sleep, enjoy your night. Um, and tomorrow I hope that, it, that you have a better day than today. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Bye.